Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the mid month check in for Aries in love. This will be for Aries sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus signs. And certainly being a general reading, this will not resonate for everybody out there. So with that, do go make sure that you check out the other aspects of your natal chart, the other signs, because there may be more messages in there that will resonate. And this is one of those situations where if it um, doesn't resonate whatsoever, please don't make it fit. It just means I'm not tuning into your specific scenario. And also feel free, cross watchers, if I'm speaking to Aries, but I'm actually, it's resonating for you, then by all means, feel free to flip it. Um, so with that, let's see what is going on for Aries mid-month, November 2019. Well, we have the Five of Cups here. So someone is feeling some sadness and regrets about the past. When the Eight of Swords, and I'm going to get a third card here. And the Hanged Man. So right away, it feels like there's something that Aries, you're, you might be feeling really sad and stuck. Or your person might be feeling very sad and stuck relating to something in the past because we're getting two cards of feeling trapped, feeling stuck, being paused. And there's something here that it's like the universe has stepped in to force you to see something in a different way, Aries. With the eight of swords and the hangman here, you know, this guy, he's been struggling with these chains that have been holding him up. He's even all tangled up a little bit. So he's been struggling against this pause and struggling against seeing things differently. It's not been easy. It's been uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, this is divine intervention, forcing you Aries to see something different about the past, about a relationship, about um, something where, you know, there's an opportunity for love here, but you might be a little focused on what's happened in the past. So let's get some more cards. I'm going to pull another row here. I'm going to pull nine cards. I'm going to pull six more right now. Just get them out on the table. So some of you may have been very focused on work and money and career and finances. But for others of you, this could really represent that you have been very guarded. And you've created some sort of stability for yourself because of this guardedness. But it's also keeping you trapped. Let me get the cards on the table and I will keep talking here in a minute. Okay. You're debating whether to open up to somebody. Um, you're debating about whether to open up to someone here because you have been focused on the past. You're ready to move. You're ready. To, you're ready. You've learned from your past. You've learned from mistakes or actions you've taken. They've brought you to this point though, where you, some of you may have been really doing your work on yourself. Some of you may have become singularly focused to make it right. Whatever sadness from the past, you're really determined to find a way to have these two cups here. And But you have been feeling a little bit like you don't know. You might not even know that these two cups exist. They might, they might not even, you might be so focused on the past that you don't realize that there's still two cups sitting here behind you, which to me indicates that you may be, you may have been, this is the recent past energy, you know, you're ready to take action here. And what you're ready to take action is, to me, this is saying that you've been keeping yourself stuck and you've been keeping yourself in a stalemate. You've been, been in, maybe you've been in indecision. You haven't been wanting to see something. And it's almost like you've been wanting to deny something, pretend like something's not there, and something that you've been guarded against. You've been, closed your, you've been closing your heart to this because the Four of Pentacles is about someone who's guarding their heart. They're covering it up. They're not letting their emotions out. They're just keeping everything tight and um, close to the chest and with the hanged man coming in this is about the universe like i said stepping in to force you or the, your person to see things differently but we do have this new beginning coming in here where it's about you gaining confidence um, you may be a little intimidated for this new beginning here with this queen of cups energy but it, it's almost like you've been it just to me this is the divine stepping in for you to have this passionate new start here with this ace of wands and obviously you are a fire sign so we're getting the king of wands 
the two of swords with the ace of wands here with these two wands this to me indicates that you've made some decisions you're ready to take action you're getting out of indecision and not seeing the truth about a situation because swords represent truth clarity they can represent communication um, they represent the mind being stuck in the mind this is the trap of the head this is the trap of the mind feeling like you don't know how to get out of a situation um, and the four of pentacles also is the the energy of all or nothing you know it's black or white i'm either going to go for this or i'm not there's no gray area here so let's see where you are in your head specifically about this you've got the king of cups so there's a lot of love here and this is again an energy of somebody who might be guarding guarding the heart not guarding it as much as not revealing it the king of cups feels things very deeply he's emotionally mature He's emotionally mature here, and but he may not be communicating it. The King of Cups kind of sits there, feeling all the feels, but not really telling about it. Where are you in your heart space around this situation? And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So this is about destiny. This is about suddenly things changing, of the completion of a phase of the cycle and the beginning of something new that's very fortunate. So where you are is you know that the, whatever's going on with this person, that things are about to turn for the better. And there's a lot of love here. Yes, there's been sadness about the past, but you're ready to learn from the mistakes of the past and move forward and communicate this. Where is your other person in their headspace regarding, the regarding you? Well, they think you're a soulmate here, Aries. Uh, with the two of cups, you know, there's a lot of love here. They're wanting this partnership with you no matter what's happened or whatever communication you have had or not had this person sees you as a soulmate and they're conscious of this. So this is a uh, pretty clear, but you, whether you've been with this person before or you haven't, there is a soulmate that they're recognizing within you Aries. And let's see where they are in their heart space for you. And we're getting the page of pentacles. So they're wanting some communication. They're wanting some sort of sign in the physical plane, like some evidence. Um, this can be communication. This is just something tangible with this page of pentacles where they want the tangible evidence around. They want to do something differently. They're ready to do things in a new way. They're ready to get challenged in a new way. You know, the way that they, they've developed a level of mastery in their experience where they're good they're abundant they're happy they've got friends they're everything's good in their life but they're ready for the next quote-unquote challenge and i mean challenge representing something that's different that's going to push them to grow even more so in the heart space they're wanting to do something differently so you know whatever's gotten you guys here you are at a place where you both clearly have a lot of love for each other and you know you have this love for each other because you're both getting cups in the headspace here Okay, let's see. Um, some more about where you are in your headspace regarding this person. There's that page of wands. So you also want to communicate. You want to deliver some news to this person. Um, you want to also embark on a new journey here because the page also represents what it comes right after the 10 in the tarot. So it indicates the beginning of a cycle. What comes after the 10 is the page. And so we are getting that you're ready to communicate something that you haven't communicated before here. You're ready to take a risk here with this full energy. So you're ready to go on this new journey. You're kind of trusting spirit. You're trusting the divine. You're trusting the universe. And you're just ready to take a risk because there is a lot of love here. You're wanting to, to communicate about this. But at the end of the day, you know, you've, you're ready to do it. Let's see how else you are in your heart space regarding this person. The two of wands. So you're wanting to continue something that's already begun. You're wanting to, you've made your decisions. You're already on the journey and now you're just picking your path. Let me get another card for where you are in your heart space. You may have been in, you've been in a stalemate or an indecision or stuck energy and when we're getting the two of wands in your heart space, that means you want to move something forward. The, the swords is stuck. They're not moving anywhere. That's a stalemate. 
But when we're getting your heart wanting to move it forward to continue something that's starting, and what else you're wanting in your heart is this Ace of Pentacles. You're wanting to make the offer. You're wanting to bring this pentacle to this page of pentacles who wants to do things differently when it comes to love. So there we go. Let's see more about where they are in their headspace regarding you. And we're getting the Queen of Swords along with the Five of Swords. So where they might be, Aries, is they want the conflict to be over. They want this, they want the drama to be dropped. If there's been any drama or any whatever, this person is very clear that they just are very matter of fact. It's like, let's cut through the BS. Let's just speak the truth. This person may be, they want this, the, the fighting or the conflict to be over. They're wanting to come out of this stalemate victorious here. And let's see more about where they are in the heart space, along with this page of pentacles. There's that king of pentacles. Well, this is where, this is, king of pentacles represents someone that has everything figured out. They're good. They're solid. They, whatever they do turns to gold. They're friendly. They're kind. They're funny. They're, they're loyal. They make really good spouses. So this king of pentacles energy is someone who's like, you want to do things differently. And here's the sun. So here it is. This is in the heart space. This person's wanting communication from you. You're ready to move this forward. This person's been wanting this to happen. You're bringing forward this ace of pentacles and they're feeling the sun, which is the happiest card in the tarot deck, Aries. So I'm going to pull one guidance card for you, Aries, of what is the best guidance for Aries relating to love this mid-month check-in. So it looks like they're wanting what you want, Aries. It's just a matter of you doing it and you taking some action and communicating here. Guidance for Aries. Hold your vision. Don't change where you're going. Hold your vision. Whatever's going on, if you're getting distracted, if you're getting fearful, if you're getting whatever... Hold your vision of what you want because it looks like it's all here for you, Aries. It's just for you to, to claim it. All right, lovely souls. I hope that was helpful. And do go check out the other signs. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.